welcome to this Ubuntu Geek Store. I'm Yugi Kwan and today we're going to take a look at Path of Exile. Um, I'm going to use the DXVK and the Lutris with this. Uh, and I'm having a loot filter. Uh, if you see here, if I press Z, you can see all the stuff. I can press it away. Uh, like here. Uh, it's really handy in this game. There is uh, so much uh, loot that drops, so it's become quite a hassle to uh, pick up all the loot. So uh, yeah, I would say the game runs uh, pretty fine. Uh, some slight issues. You have some fixes you can do, and I'll show you. Uh, you can do a lot more, but uh, I think it's rather playable as it is. Uh, so yeah, I can really recommend the loot filter though, as I said. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the installation. Thank you. Hello and welcome back. We're gonna go ahead and install everything now. So we're gonna first start off by installing the graphics drivers. So you're gonna go ahead and download it from either NVIDIA or the AMD, if you have an AMD. Uh, if you are on Ubuntu, you can go into the launchpad.net, I'm going to do right here. And uh, you can uh, add the repository yourself in the terminal by going into the terminal and adding the repository. And typing in your password. And I've already done that, so I'm going to cancel out of it. And you're going to go with sudo apt get update as well. Uh, I will have all the commands in the description box for you, um, if you want to go ahead and do it. And when you're done the update, you're going to go ahead and go into your additional drivers. And in your additional drivers, you will see that the NVIDIA is uh, uh, probably a later one, and you can choose the newest one now. Uh, for me, that's 450, and you're going to choose that. If you want to add repository manually in the GUI here, you can do it here instead. And the information for the Ubuntu is here now. Uh, I'm gonna sh close that one down and uh, let's continue. Uh, when you have all the graphics drivers installed, you're gonna do some uh, terminal commands. So you're gonna add some architecture, so you're gonna um, uh, download a release key, you're gonna add the release key, you're gonna get the repository for the wine uh, um, staging, you're gonna update and then you're gonna install the wine staging and then you will have all the wine staging installed. Uh, after that you wanna go ahead and install the Vulkan, so go ahead and add this command into your terminal and just execute it. When you have all these commands ready and done, you can go ahead and download uh, the Lutris, so you have to go into your web browser and go uh, into Lutris.net and download. Well, this is going great. <laughs> well, there you are. <laughs> so, in the Lutris download, download it for your uh, distribution, and you can go uh, into uh, this website if you want to just choose the Ubuntu one or grab the binary or whatever you want to do go ahead and download it and install it I have already installed it so it says it right there so pretty simple when you have done all of that you're gonna go ahead and into Lutris and you can go and connect your account if you have one and go into your path of exile here and you want to click install and you want to choose the standalone version DXVK Wine and this will have the DX11 mode and you're gonna go ahead and continue and you're gonna use a directory here remember this one if you change it and go ahead and install it and it's gonna install all the wine prefixes and settings and whatnots so this will take some time and uh, when you have done this we will continue with the Vulkan SDK so when you're all done downloading and installing the Lutris and the Path of Exile we're gonna go ahead and go and uh, you can probably play the game now if you want uh, but I'm gonna take a look at the uh, fixes here so if we right click and go into the let's see here uh, wine tricks I'm gonna go ahead and click that 
and uh, let's see if it opens up here. Here, we're gonna select the default prefix that was made, and we're gonna go ahead in and choose the Windows DLL or component. And in here, we're gonna scroll down and find uh, it's at the bottom. Uh, you can see that the DBX is installed and we're gonna go ahead and use uh, here the Vulcan SDK version. We're gonna go ahead and accept that and install that and uh, click OK. And it's gonna download and install everything you will need. So that's that. Um, you can exit out of this now and we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to uh, this website for uh, patch the dbk version uh, if you go and copy that and go into your browser i will have uh, all these links as i said in the description box here and we're gonna go ahead and download the tar here and we're gonna save it and let's go into uh, the file here i've already done it so you're gonna go ahead and extract it and you're gonna get uh, this folder uh, with all the DL DLLs. You're gonna copy this folder and you're gonna have uh, in your home folder, you probably will have, if you go to view and show hidden, you have a file called local. You're gonna go to share and you're gonna go to Lutris and you're gonna go to uh, runtime and you're gonna go to dxvk and here you have all the versions that you have installed uh, so you'll probably have only uh, similar to this or just 93 so you're gonna paste it in i already done it uh, this here so we'll have all the data and uh, this name here we can uh, copy it right here uh, so we know, or you just remember it, and you're gonna go into Lutris, and in Lutris you're gonna go configure. Uh, if you go into runners options, we can see that the DXVK version is probably gonna be for you the 093, but we are going to use the name of our downloaded fixed uh, DXVK version. And you're gonna save that and uh, close that one down. And uh, that's it for all the fixes. Uh, you can compile uh, an DXVK on your own, but I prefer this uh, downloaded one. Uh, it's pretty much simpler. Uh, if we take a look at the loot filter then, um, that's pretty easy. If you go into this website, uh, as I said, I will have it in the description box. Uh, you can go ahead and download the loot filter. Uh, you can choose the, let's see here, we have the tar, I believe. Yes, and if you go ahead and extract that, extract here, you're gonna have this folder and all of these files we're gonna need. So if you copy this one, uh, you're probably gonna have a uh, folder for all your games in Lutris. Uh, I have it in my home and Yugik One and uh, games and I will have Path of Exile. Uh, if you want to find it you can also go uh, browse files on uh, the uh, Lutris and you can see the pathway is right here so uh, that's fine as well. We're gonna go into Path of Exile your uh, C drive and you're gonna go ahead and go into let's see it's under if I remember uses you geek uh, you use the name and then uh, let's see here my documents my games and the path of exile and here you're gonna just paste that in and um, all the files will be extracted here then and when you have all done all of that uh, you're gonna go ahead into your game. So let's uh, start it up again and I will show you what buttons to enable the loot filter. Thank you. So yeah, I um, loaded up the game here. So we're gonna go ahead and go into your menu here on the game and go on options. 
and you will go into the UI and scroll down to the bottom here and here you will see list of item filters here is the never sync items and you will have the regulars your strict your uh, soft for different kind of modes to uh, show away the items there so yeah just click reload and you will load and you can just go ahead and run it so yeah uh, thank you guys for watching this video uh, if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask and i hope i see you in the next video bye bye